Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about fat packs and what's going on with them. So I talked to my local store owners, uh, two of them. So I actually have nine and these nine are, I had 18 of them, but nine of them I opened with my friends and that was really fun. But I have nine, one, two, three, four. Yeah, you can't even see, but like the top ones are, <laughs> let me just grab them. Oaf, oaf. Um, Zendikar, I did get some more Zendikar ones in. Oaf, 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 oaf. Uh, there's a ton of oaf. And honestly, the hype and the, the scare and people are saying that there's not enough of this. There's a second shipment of it. And actually, if you see Darian's video, he'll confirm that as well. But my store owners have also said that there is a second shipment of oaf. So there's not a shortage. So if your store is charging you more than $4, so I did pay 40 for these. I paid retail. Because sometimes it's nice to support your store, especially if you can. So yeah, I did pay retail for nine of these and then nine of the other ones I got from my other friend's store at retail. Uh, what I've been told by both stores uh, is that there will be a second ordering. And you can, so there's gonna be way more over the gate watch than Battle for Zendikar. I don't know exactly what the numbers are, but for Battle for Zendikar, there was not the opportunity to order again from many distributors. Oh, for the Gatewatts, you can order again. So uh, imagine whatever they got the first week. Um, assume that you can double that amount for the store. Maybe a little less. I'm not exactly sure of the numbers. But as a uh, fat pack, Oh, for the Gatewatts is a really good value. It's not like something like Fate Reforged or Dragon Maze that's going to plummet in value. A Dragon Maze hit twenty dollars because there's no value in Dragon Maze. Over the Get Watch, the expeditions are not as good. However, the general cards are much much better in my opinion. Uh, how much better? I will always pick Oath over Battle. Um, that's my personal opinion. Uh, the Oath there's more of, and it's selling for about forty bucks, forty two dollars online right now, with uh, free shipping on TCG Player Mids, and. I don't know, I think the um, battle for Zendikar, that just got out of control. People got greedy, stores got greedy, and they felt like they could take advantage of, if you will, the situation, um, and that's what happened, because then you had people on Craigslist sell for $65, $70 a fat pack. Uh, there's really no, I would much rather have Oath than battle in terms of pure value if you're opening. In terms of long, uh, Investment goals, I think battle's still better uh, just because less of it was printed and you don't have a second run. So there will be a second, I don't know if it's called a print run, I don't know exactly what type of run it is, but there will be a second time that these stores can order again. So whatever your store got previously, they can pretty much come close to double that if they wanted to max out, which you know they should. And then Walmart, Target, all these distributors are gonna get a second order. Which is crazy because that's exactly what should have happened with Battle. Uh, it didn't happen. I think Wizard learned. And it shows that Wizards can adapt. I mean, people are saying that Wizards of the Coast cannot adapt to, like, you know, if it supplies low, but they have shown in the past they can with um, True Name Nemesis. On a dime, they just decided, hey, we're going to print two Mind Seizes over, you know, these other ones. And that's what they did. So I think that's what happened with Oath is they realized people were being upset, they realize the secondary market was poaching on it. When someone brings, um, so these actually cost around $22, um, 20, I think 21 to $23, depending on your distributor for a store to buy you. I've always known that price. I'm just going out and say it, that the value, the store pays about $21 to $23, depending on the uh, amount and things of that. I think Battle for Zendikar was $23. I think this is 21 with change and they're gonna make money from it. Uh, but the Wizards of the Coast does not make any more money if the MSRP is $39.99, and then suddenly your MSRP, like let's say there's people on Craigslist selling in, let's say there's people buying at $7, guess what, Wizards of the Coast has made $0 from the 40 to 70, because that's not their model, right? Their model is they gotta print as many of these as possible. And again, I saved nine for my Patreons in case they wanna open it. And uh, obviously you don't have to open, oof, we can do, um, Fate, cons, cons is getting pricey too. I don't actually have much cons left. I think I just have these two. Or battle. 
it's up to you. I would rather keep, well, I have to keep one of the battles for the giveaway contest in the main channel, but everything else is up to you guys what you want to open. I just wanted to let you guys know, Oaf should not be, uh, Oaf fat packs are not difficult to obtain if your store is charging like 50 or $60 for it. Maybe go to a different store, <laughs> honestly. Uh, there will be a second shipment of it to anyone who wants to buy it. I figured that it will be the same for Walmart and Target. As a open product, as a product that if you're going to buy the product to open, which you should, Oaf is better than Battle uh, in every single sense because you have Uncommon's worth money. The only Uncommon worth more than 50 cents and uh, Battle is status. Um, the You have the red, blue uh, Mage dude with the haste and then the Reminds me a lot of that, that other card, uh, Monastery Swift Spear. Yeah, so you have that one, but it has flying, and it's a one for E with flying. And you have uh, the Reflector Mage. You, you have a lot of cards that are at mid-range prices, and I would much rather have Oath to open uh, as a general pack. So that's it. Uh, yeah, bye guys.